Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The first of May, Monday of the week of Easter 4. Andrew Murray, 1828-1917. This is short, but I think marvelous. Have you ever noticed the difference in the Christian life between work and fruit? A machine can do work. Only life can bear fruit. A law can compel work. Only life can spontaneously bring forth fruit. Work implies effort and labor. The essential idea of fruit, that it is the silent, natural, restful produce of our inner life. The connection between work and fruit is perhaps best seen in the expression, fruitful in every good work, Colossians 1.10. It is only when good works come as the fruit of the indwelling spirit that they are acceptable to God. Under the compulsion of law and conscience or the influence of inclination and zeal, men may be most diligent in good works and yet find that they have but little spiritual result. Their works are man's effort instead of being the fruit of the spirit the restful, natural outcome of the Spirit's operation within us. The Prayer of Martin Luther, 1483-1546. Almighty everlasting God, who through thy Holy Spirit sanctifiest and rulest thy whole church, hear our prayer and graciously grant that she with all her members by thy grace may serve thee in pure faith. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen.